How's it guys? Good morning. Welcome to the second day of the WTM in Cape Town. That's where we are, Cape Town, South Africa. Um, I've just got out of bed. I woke up a while ago. I didn't actually get that great sleep last night because we had mosquitoes. Some random number phoned me. For breakfast this morning, we have hot cross buns because it is close to Easter. Today's date is the 10th, the 11th of April. So very close to Easter. I know my vlogs are not up to date, but that's just how things are at the moment, so. Okay, let's do it. Round two. Um, let me show you guys, actually. Ah, I showed you guys when I got this from the Chiasma, or just, sorry, Chiasma in uh, Helsinki. And they gave us this little card holder thing, which I think has a really nice finish in terms of the texture, but let me show you. Now I'm using it for my business cards. What my business cards look like this. If you didn't see when I got them made two years ago, that's what they look like. Cool, hey? And now you can see it a lot better. That's a photo that Ben took uh, in Big Sur on one of my first trips with him uh, when we went to California. And uh, he was like, oh, dude, this will be such a sick photo. Go stand on that rock. And I was like shimmying down this cliff. I was like, I don't know if it's safe, dude. And he was like, no, just go for it. It'll be fine. And then I was standing on the rock and I was like, this is as far as I'm going. Anyway, he got this photo. And now look, it's on my business card. Sicker. Comes with a story. Me and SP just did a bit of a hardcore Instagram mission. Well done, bro. You did good. We got the shot. Did we? Yeah, we got it. Cool. Who's Instagram? Don't mind. John Boy got me here safely. I also just realized where I came up with the name John Boy. I didn't come up with it. It's the name of a tattoo artist in New York, LA. I don't know, somewhere that Ben got a tattoo. Um, but yeah, day two of the WTM, let's go. So this little guy, because I'm press, gets me into the press lounge and they've got snacks here. Check that out. Curried goat mini flatbreads. Gonna try one of those. Chicken liver pate, red onion marmalade. To be honest, that looks kind of the same as that one. Hmm. I, uh, I have been mic'd up. Oh wait, you can't see the mic. The mic? Yeah, well, of course. I'm vlogging today, so I've been asked to do an interview. Renee, why? why? It's only got a little bit intimidating now with the big light, but should be chilled. Interview with uh, Renee, Dan, Renee and Mark. They work for a Chinese TV company, I think. So it's gonna be on Chinese TV, but it didn't take very long. It was just like one question and then I just rambled on because I can do that. Exhibit A. Coming to another talk at the conference theater by the last guy that I saw here yesterday, Keith Shibiagadi. It's about over-tourism. Hi, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so the phenomenon of over-tourism. And um, I live in Amsterdam, so I can, talk, I can tell you all about it. Um, <laughs> Really interesting talk. Actually, yeah, really, really good for me to go to that as well because it spoke a lot about sort of showing the real picture behind uh, sort of the Instagrammable places that people go and how in the UK there's some, some huge percentage of uh, people are choosing their holidays based on its Instagrammability. So the example that the speaker was using was that there's a cliff in, I'll see if I can find a photo, but there's a cliff in Norway where everyone goes to try and get this one photo and you don't see the reality behind it which is cues and cues of people so things like that have also made me sort of click about the things in South Africa and in Cape Town how people think oh lion's head is this but there's a reality behind it so they actually gave me a couple video ideas for what I can do it's sort of be like the truth behind this and that but actually it's more here's what you didn't know about it you know these are the things to consider when coming because Instagrammers and people who share experiences through a specific lens do have a responsibility to also educate the audience and uh, tourists and people who are coming to try and get that exact same experience about how to go about it things like that so you'll see something like that for me in the future hopefully so the reason why you saw me walking away from the uh, CTICC is because I've come to visit Sonia because her work is right next to, well, it's at the waterfront, so it's right next to CTICC. Pea Gobbler. That's a brilliant name for that. There's Signal Hill, the butt of it. You can see Lion's Head just over the top there. Table Mountain, the canals, a bit more of the kind of harbor thingy. Sonia, my sister. How's it? <laughs> yeah, I vlog every day. All day, every day, not every day. That's cool. So Sonia had an errand to run and I came with her. 
coming to the post office. Didn't even know these still existed. Jokes, I did. Oh, you got a little. Oh. Got a little box. Fan mail. My name is what? K2018091776. Oh no. Is AP to our LTB. So I need a letter of authorization to be able to collect this registered mail, which I don't have on me. And that was quite a walk to the office. <laughs> This is the origin of where reposting came from. Here you've got the limited edition stamps. You can buy all sorts. This one, probably very popular. You can buy the face of the president, Cyril Ramaphosa, so that you put it on the corner and when you bring it to the post office, they take a stamp and they go <laughs> Sonia and I have had a bunch of uh, coincidences happen to us in the past uh, th few days. Yeah. So we decided that there's obviously something some greater power at work so we're going to play the lotto which is the national lottery and it's like three rand and you can win millions of rands millions, millions. <laughs> we've decided to go for this one daily lotto guaranteed winners daily jackpot three rand choose five numbers from one to 36 for your chance to win while sonia fills that out i just want to say i do not condone or endorse gambling and um, responsible gam responsible gambling <laughs> gamble responsibly we just uh, we're pretty lucky sometimes so thought we'd try our luck our minimum jackpot is 400,000 rand that's for today Thursday 11th of April by the time this vlog goes live we will have cashed out our millions <laughs> <laughs> so you guys can go and see if we made lots of money or not I'm not gonna post the results because that's either what's it sympathy fishing or or showboating depending on the result. So I am an unofficial employee at Sonia's office today. She's making me a coffee. See, I've already got my own secretary. I'm on my way up, huh? <laughs> I've got my own office here, check. Another meeting room. Back once again for the Renegade Master at the WTM. Uh, I finished doing my stuff that I needed to do at the office. I actually wouldn't like to be wearing a hat here. I would like to be a lot more professional, but because I'm riding a scooter, it sort of limits uh, my uh, costume choices. Uh, I want to go speak to some people about doing a helicopter thing. This looks like a performance, right? Yeah. Okay. Not a protest. <laughs> now we're talking. Snack batters, finger food. I think this is... Looks like little fed cooks. I get the feeling that there's free drinks as well. I mean, I would get one if I wasn't doing my scoot scoot, but... I would chase that food down. Everyone with the same idea. So this is actually, so Love Cape Town is like the city of Cape Town. You can see that's the city of Cape Town logo. And that's like the local tourism board. So um, I have chatted to a few of them and hopefully I'll be doing some stuff with Love Cape Town to show you guys more of Cape Town because I know I've been guilty. <laughs> so I know I've been guilty of, uh, of not doing as much as I could in the city that I live in. Jeez, like a pack of dogs managed to get one. I can pop this whole thing in one go, right? As long as I don't see anyone that I want to talk to. that performance also while I was walking around trying to get a really good spot I came across these from not from when we had our drought but when the drought was really bad one of the things that they were pushing was uh, shorter showers so check here save our water shower in under two minutes and it's a little what's that called hourglass with a little sticky thing so that you can keep it in the shower genius that's a great campaign so for those who don't know, Cape Town had a serious drought, still is technically in a drought, so water is scarce, but it's better than, uh, than it was. So still, if you come to Cape Town, save water, please. Just don't waste it. You can use, you can use water, just don't waste it. Another successful day at the WTMA. <laughs> Check out all these autistic rhinos that they've got around the CTICC. There was one back there. I'll have to show it to you tomorrow, but it was a red rhino with its horn cut off and the horn on the ground. Very cool. I wonder what they're doing. Creators of convivi con what? conviviality. The rhinos are coming. Game of Thrones style. So there is something happening, something coming through there. 
that would probably be a cool photo with that guy smoking in the light but I'm not going to do that because I've got to get home but uh, benefits of a scooter 101 is that I'm not going to sit in any of this which is really nice dinner tonight being provided by Rocker Mamas. I say being provided by, we just placed an order and I've come to pick it up. This is a really good uh, burger restaurant and I'll show you where it is when I go out. I just park my bike back there. I'll show you where it is. But look at these. I mean, if that doesn't make you want a burger, I don't know what will. Look at that. Look at that one. A black bun. Food into the hold. So there it is. Rocker Mamas. It's on Rondebosch Main Road. This is a very studenty area. And every other restaurant that's been here has uh, failed, pretty much, to put it bluntly. But this place is doing really well because of the food that they serve. It's pretty affordable, and like I said, student tea area, so there's something for everyone. Really nice, I would recommend it. Come and check it out. Not sponsored. So my Uber Eats speedy getaway hasn't necessarily gone to plan. <laughs> I was having so much fun riding the scooter. And I forgot that sometimes you need to put petrol in it. So I'm now pushing it home. I really shouldn't be wearing the helmet because that's just going to make me hotter. But luckily, Rocker Mama's just around the corner from our apartment. And Chris, the guy who gave me the scooter, has a can of petrol at his place as well. So I won't have to push it all the way to the petrol station. Whoa, check out the sky. Check out those clouds. Could have been a banger of a sunset. The moon and palm trees. How's that, eh? On my first Uber Eats delivery. And you think, oh, what's taking them so long? One out of five. Now we get it. <gasps> That's it, I'm not giving you your delivery. You haven't paid yet, actually. So I have ordered me the chili cheese bomb. Ooh, that looks good. Thanks for the chili cheese bomb, Seth. I didn't know it was gonna be so hot, I'm sorry. And you already took out all the chili. Yeah, I took half the chilies and the stuff out. You eat one. I didn't see it go in. Did you guys see it go in? Oh, there it is. Sam has a really good poker face, so. It's not actually that bad, to be honest. What's your poker face? No, chili. <laughs> it was hot. It's okay, okay. look at me. Yep. Maybe it's because I pushed the bike. Oh, sweaty. Oh no, it's getting you, huh? Just in the back of the throat. Mm, mm. It's just getting me in the all around the mouth. <laughs> Someone's opinion has changed, huh? <laughs> those are quite hot. No, I can actually eat, like, I can eat hot food. But those are like itchy in the back of the throat, like burning the whole way down. And what is in here is probably about a quarter or a fifth. Straight out the bottle, you animal. I don't usually do this, guys, but... Sab always drinks milk like that. No, I don't. Straight out the bottle, every morning. Yeah, you normally have a little teat on top as well, and then you... <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. I believe that is karma, I think. <laughs> Drop down in the comment section below if you want to see Sav and I do a chili challenge. No. <laughs> you had one tiny little chili. It had a lot of um, seasoning. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it actually did. Uh -huh. It actually did. Uh -huh. I promise. So hot. I'm not even being dramatic. Can I have some water? <laughs> this is my water. I offered you water earlier and you <laughs> said no. You don't. <laughs> oh, you suck it. After dinner, I went to Chris once I'd already got downstairs. Um, and I was on my way. I was like, oh, I don't know my vlogging phone. And then I got petrol from Chris, topped up the bike, couldn't start it. Walked the bike to Chris to see if he knew what the issue was. Basically, I think the alternator on the bike doesn't work. Uh, uh, don't work so good. But anyway, we managed to start it. I went to my parents to go fetch some stuff. And then I couldn't start it there. So, and this whole time I didn't have the vlogging phone. So, left the bike at my parents. Mom gave me a lift home. Thanks, Mom. Uh, now, we are here. And I'm super tired. And I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow for another slice of math.